Hey everyone, how is everyone's Asexual Awareness Week going? For Asexual Awareness Week, um, my plans on that are very vague. Uh, today, what have I done? Um, I had work. It's actually when I was considering what to do for Asexual Awareness, what I can personally do, that I got stumped. Story time! So I was riding the bus from work to the mall and um, I noticed that the person who was sitting across from me while I was standing very valiantly trying to, you know, hold on to those thingies that they have hanging from bus strap, those bus strap handle thingies and doing an excellent job of managing to twirl around while I'm standing up and hoping that the bus driver didn't think I was playing. Um, I noticed that her, their backpack had was black with some purple, white, and gray stripes on it. One of those transport, trans transport backpacks, and I thought I could try complimenting on her at that. But I, I, social anxiety is not the main reason why I didn't speak up. It's one of them, but the other one is that, um. Blah. Talking to people on buses randomly has never been a strong point for me and is usually regarded as suspicious behavior, so that opportunity just let me by. And I thought about how um, talking to people um, is difficult, not just for me, but for in general sometimes when you want to talk to people about something that you know about, that they don't know about, that you think they don't know about, and you think that you know be about better than they do. And <clears throat> how communication can be very, very awkward. Um, and, you know, I think that um, one of... I thought back to one time when my older brother taught me something. When he was in college, he um, thought it was very strange that something... A university, um, and the university college lifestyle where people are told, you make me friends, you greet people and do all these things. Um, socially, it's a place for, you know, building social networking where whenever he went to the dining hall, everyone would just sit at their own tables and make no effort to actually interact with anyone around them. And I thought... And he, he thought that that was very, you know, what's this so interactive about this? What's social networking about this? We can't even talk to people who are sitting right next to us and a table right next to us because we are afraid of talking to people and making those new connections. He told me how, you know, he started doing this policy where he just sit at other people, asking if we could sit at other people's tables and be like, and he could start up conversations that way, and I—it's something that I've thought about um, sometimes, not just in you know college situations when you see someone and you're like, I can sit try talking to these people because they're sitting down at a table and whatever. But in any social situation, I think that we're not encouraged to reach out to other people, especially. I don't know about other countries, but especially in America right now, because we are a nation of fear and we've been taught to fear other people and to be suspicious of everyone. Um, that person might be, you know, um, that person might be a molester or that person might be a mysterious gunman, other things like that. So really, it's no wonder that things like awareness campaigns or trying to tell people something um, get met with derision, scorn, fear, distrust, all sorts of other things. But, um, I think that, uh, worrying about those things doesn't change anything, um, so much as taking action. And I think that, you know, if you reach out to people, as I've done it before, um, just not today, <sighs> Um, when you reach out to people and, you know, talk to them out of random curiosity or whatever, or just say something like, wow, 
weather today is really awful, um, they might be like, yeah. And that's really where, you know, connections start and that's where you can start interacting and reaching across the void of human understanding. Um, so, f so far, day my asexual awareness has been bust, but I have the rest of the week and I will be trying to make the most of it. So, good luck to everyone else out there and I hope your asexual awareness week is full of good times. See ya.